Welcome back guys to your 48th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over the keyword friend. So basically every class can have friends and a friend of the class is something that's totally separate from the class but it still has access to the stuff inside your class like your variables and your functions. So in other words if a class wanted to have a function it can make that function its friend and now that function had access to the variables and the functions inside the class. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the first thing we need is a class and I'm gonna name this class Stank Fist. So let's go ahead and make our class right now. The first thing I like to do is get everything set up. So public and private. So this class is gonna have one private variable and int stinky variable. So now the only thing that has access to the stinky variable is whatever is already inside this class. So first of all, let's go ahead and build a constructor for this stink fist. And all this constructor is going to do is take that stinky variable and set it equal to zero. So now as soon as you create a stink fist object, and make sure I capitalize that consistency on my fist, um, it's going to take this stinky variable and set it equal to zero. Simple enough. So now what we need to do is we need to build a function. So let's go ahead and build a function outside. Actually, let's go ahead and make it right here. So in order to make a function your friend, the very first thing you need to do is prototype it inside your class. So go ahead and put void. We'll name this function stinkies friend. And we'll go ahead and as a parameter, it's going to take a stank fist object. So stank fist. And we'll just name this object SFO for stank fist object. So as a parameter, it's going to take an object of this class. So you're saying, all right, so that's all you do in order to make it your friend prototype it inside your class? Well, no. In order to make this function a friend of this class, before the prototype, you need to type the keyword friend. Now this function has access to everything inside this class because it's its friend. So now when we go ahead and copy this, and paste it and create it, we can use the stankfist object to access all the stuff inside the stankfist class. Pretty cool, huh? So first of all, let's go ahead and change the stinky variable equal to something. So using our stankfist object, let's go ahead and access the stinky variable and set it equal to 99 or something different than zero. And now let's go ahead and just print it out on the screen. See out SFO stinky variable and line. So basically what this does is even though there is a function right here, you can see that it's totally different, totally outside this class. But since this class said, you know what, I trust this function, it's my friend, now this function has access to the stuff inside the class such as stinky variable. And another thing I want to point out before I go on, a class has to give away its friendship. For example, this function and this function can't demand to be friends with this class. That's why you don't have the friend keyword right before it. This class needs to give away its friendship. Other places just can't take it. It's kind of like real life. You can't make someone be your friend. They have to accept you into being your friend. Make sense? Trust me, I tried it. Didn't work out too well. So let's go ahead and now that we got everything set up, we can begin using this in main. So our inner main, what we need to do first is create a stank fist object. So stank fist, and I'm just going to name my object Bob. And now we can use that stinky's friend function right here. And of course, this function takes a stank fist object as its parameter. So let's go ahead and as its parameter, type in Bob. And now we'll go ahead and run it and check it out. As long as I didn't forget anything, it should print out 99. Pretty cool, huh? So even though we were using this function, and this function was outside this class, it was able to access this stinky variable and print it out on the screen. Pretty cool, huh? So basically, to recap one last time, we wanted to build a function that can access this class, but we didn't want to put it inside the class itself. So instead, what we decided to do was make this function a friend of the class. Now, whenever this function tried to use the variables and functions inside this class, it was able to because this class said, you know what, you're pretty cool, you can be my friend. So then we made a function that took a stank fist parameter 
as its object. So the first thing we need to do is create a stankfist object and we pass it in as its parameter and then it had access to the stankfist class. So that is basically the um, I don't know, the lesson behind this tutorial. Whenever a class wants something to be its friend, it can access the members of that class. And aside from that, a class has to give away its friendship. Other functions can't just demand to be friends with it. It has to give it to them. So there you go. That's what friend means, and that's why it's useful. Again, this is a real simple example, but later on, I'll show you guys how it's really useful. So, uh, just stick around and you'll see. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.